Yellowstone National Park is famous for its geothermal wonders, including its numerous geysers and hot springs. But what many people don't realize is that beneath this seemingly tranquil landscape lies a super volcano that could one day erupt and cause widespread devastation. In this video we will explore the hidden danger posed by Yellowstone's volcanoes and why it's a threat we can't afford to ignore. Yellowstone National Park is located in the northwest corner of the United States, straddling the border between Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. The park is home to some of the most stunning natural wonders in the world, including the world's largest collection of geysers as well as hot springs, canyons, rivers, and abundant wildlife. But beneath this idyllic scenery lies a super volcano that has the potential to cause catastrophic damage. Yellowstone Caldera is a massive volcanic crater that stretches for 45 miles from north to south and 28 miles from east to west. It is the result of three major eruptions that occurred over the past 2.1 million years. The most recent eruption was the 1885 event which deposited ash over an area of 220,000 square miles. This eruption was so powerful that it is estimated to have released 2,600 cubic miles of ash and pumice, which is enough to bury the entire state of Florida under six feet of debris. Despite the awesome destructive power of the Yellowstone supervolcano, the area has remained relatively uninhabited with only a small number of scientists and park rangers calling it home. This is likely due to the harsh environment of the region, which includes freezing temperatures, limited vegetation, and the constant threat of volcanic activity. The danger posed by Yellowstone's volcanoes is very real and has been felt by humans throughout history. There are numerous Native American legends that tell of the wrath of the fire gods, referring to the violent eruptions of the Yellowstone supervolcano. During the 1885 eruption, ash and pumice were carried by winds across the Great Plains and as far away as Mexico. The fine ash reached a layer of 2 to 3 inches in places as distant as Oklahoma and Texas and older layers of ash have been found as far away as New York and North Africa. The explosive force of the eruption was equivalent to 2,500 atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima. But despite these ancient tales and modern scientific understanding of the supervolcano's power, there are still those who choose to live in the shadow of this sleeping giant. One such person is Margaret Fiscus, a 72-year-old woman who lives in a cabin near the Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National Park. She has lived in the area for over 30 years and is known as the woman who lives above the volcano. Despite the warnings from scientists about the danger of living so close to the supervolcano, Fiscus refuses to leave her home. She says that she has never been afraid of the volcano and that she feels safe in her cabin. However, this is not the case for everyone. There are numerous other residents of Yellowstone National Park who do feel threatened by the supervolcano and have taken steps to protect themselves. Many of them have invested in earthquake insurance while others have developed evacuation plans in the event of an eruption. Some have even built bomb shelters on their properties to take cover in the event of a catastrophic eruption. In the event of a large-scale volcanic eruption at Yellowstone, the immediate area would be devastated. The small towns near the park, such as Gardner, Mammoth Hot Springs, and Cook City, would be completely destroyed by pyroclastic flows and falling debris ash and pumice would blanket the surrounding states of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho, making it difficult to breathe and causing widespread crop failure. The economic impact on the region would be devastating, with the tourism industry in Yellowstone National Park and the surrounding areas likely to be wiped out. To make matters worse, the eruption would also release large amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, which would reflect sunlight and cause global temperatures to plummet. Even areas far from the actual explosion would experience significant temperature drops, leading to widespread crop failure and famine. Yellowstone National Park receives millions of visitors each year, but in the event of an eruption, the park would need to be evacuated immediately. Authorities would use a combination of sirens, road closures, and public address announcements to get people out of the park safely. Helicopters would be used to evacuate anyone who is unable to leave on foot or by car. If you find yourself in Yellowstone National Park when the volcano erupts, it's important to know what to do to stay safe. If possible, you should drop everything and flee the park as quickly as possible. If you're driving, follow the evacuation routes marked on the park maps. If you're on foot, hike away from the park along the evacuation routes. If you can't leave the park, you should seek shelter in a cave or under an overpass. If you're staying in a hotel or other lodging, you should evacuate the building and move to a safer location outside of the immediate area. It's also important to know what not to do in the event of an eruption. 
Don't try to run away from the advancing lava flow or pyroclastic surge. Don't take shelter under trees, as they may be blown down by the force of the eruption. And don't stay in your car if a lava flow or pyroclastic surge is approaching. You should also be prepared for after the eruption. Make sure to bring food and water with you as supplies may be limited or non-existent in the aftermath of an eruption. Be prepared to help others as first responders may not be able to reach you for some time. Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the most active geothermal areas on Earth. The supervolcano beneath the park's surface has the potential to cause catastrophic damage, but fortunately, scientists are constantly monitoring for signs of increased activity. Using a network of seismographs, they are able to detect any changes in the frequency or strength of earthquakes in the region. Any increase in seismic activity could indicate that the magma chamber beneath the volcano is becoming more active leading to a higher risk of eruption. Scientists are also keeping a close eye on the geysers and hot springs in the park. Any changes in their behavior could be an indication of rising magma. For example, an increase in the frequency or intensity of eruptions could suggest that the pressure in the magma chamber is increasing. Similarly, a change in the temperature or chemistry of the geyser water could indicate that it is being heated by the rising magma. In addition to seismic and geothermal monitoring, scientists are also using remote sensing techniques to monitor changes in the shape of the volcano. Using satellites and aerial photography, they are able to detect any changes in the elevation of the volcano, as well as any new features that may have formed. Any change in the volcano's shape could indicate that magma is moving beneath the surface and could potentially lead to an eruption. One of the most important tools used to monitor Yellowstone's supervolcano is the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, or YVO. The YVO is a partnership between the United States Geological Survey, Montana State University, and the University of Utah. The observatory scientists use a variety of techniques to monitor the volcano, including the ones mentioned earlier, as well as gas emissions and ground deformation. Despite these monitoring efforts, it's important to note that predicting a volcanic eruption is extremely difficult and often impossible. Scientists can estimate the probability of an eruption occurring within a certain time frame based on historical data and current monitoring efforts. However, they cannot predict when an eruption will actually occur. If an eruption were to occur, there are several things you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones. First, you should make sure that you have a plan in place for how you will evacuate the park in the event of an eruption. You should also make sure that you have a supply of food and water that will last for at least three days. In addition, you should have a battery-powered radio and a flashlight with extra batteries. If you have pets, you should also make sure that you have a plan for them as well. You should also check with your insurance company to make sure that you have adequate coverage in the event of a volcanic eruption. While the threat posed by the Yellowstone supervolcano is real and potentially catastrophic, it's important not to let fear dictate your life. The eruption of this volcano is a rare event that has only occurred three times in the past 2.1 million years. The vast majority of people who visit Yellowstone National Park each year do so without incident. By taking the proper precautions and being aware of the risks, you can enjoy all the beauty and wonder of this amazing national park without having to worry about the danger posed by its slumbering giant. Yellowstone National Park is truly a place of both beauty and danger. While the threat posed by the supervolcano beneath its surface is real and potentially catastrophic, it's important to remember that this is also a place where countless species of plants and animals thrive. From the majestic bison and wolves to the delicate wildflowers and towering trees, Yellowstone is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life in the face of even the most extreme conditions. As we continue to explore and learn about Yellowstone, we must also remember to respect and protect this fragile ecosystem. The supervolcano beneath the park is a reminder of the immense power of nature and the importance of preserving the wilderness for future generations to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.